it's a logical thing to wonder after such a painful and distressing period of time what one could have done different or should have done different or, or most importantly what they ought to be doing going forward. And really the only thing we have any control over is what we do at this point in time. Uh, the reality is that oftentimes the very best thing to do is to do nothing. But certainly as opposed to rushing out to go buy a bunch of new things or sell a bunch of things, one has to take a breath and establish some sort of foundation of poise, of patience, and of prudence. And we use those three P words because we think they're better than the other one, which is panic. Uh, behavioral decisions are gonna guide us forward from here. Every investor has to make wise decisions behaviorally. When heavy degrees of emotion, heavy degrees of fear enter the fray, it's just as damaging as when heavy degrees of greed or euphoria enter the fray. So right now, the position that most investors are in is one of needing to sit back and evaluate their timeline, their overall liquidity, their long-term goals, what in their portfolio is most positioned for a rebound, what in their portfolio might be broken or needs to be rethought. It has to be deliberative. It has to be process-driven. But most importantly, it has to be as much as possible devoid of emotional intervention. Let's continue this conversation at thebonsongroup.com.